Well, hey guys, I know I made a video a while ago about my complete hatred for Windows 8 and everything Windows 8, but uh, to tell you the truth, I'm actually starting to like it and seeing some massive improvements over Windows 7. I'm just going to go over a few of them right now and I'll show you right away what I like and what I don't like. Number one, boot time. Incredibly fast, and this is not that fast of a laptop. It's uh, AMD 64, dual core, 4 gigabyte RAM, and that's about it. It's nothing special, but yeah. See that? Um, <clears throat> if I was running even Windows XP, it would probably not boot as fast as this thing does. I'm not counting the seconds here, but uh, I'm guessing it's not that long. There we go, we're booted in. So that took all of a few seconds. Uh, one thing that I also totally screwed up on before was <clears throat> I was just trying to use this Metro desktop way too much and unless you have a touch screen there's absolutely no reason for it. Uh, just go to the desktop version of the actual computer. If you go to, Ni I think it's nanite.com, you can download a tool right there. It's a Windows, uh, Windows 7 original start menu or something like that. And you can actually put the start menu into Windows uh, 8 that looks just like Windows 7. It actually looks cooler because you can add uh, more functionality to it and you can uh, actually change the colors and the themes and all that good funky stuff. Anyways, I'll get on to some other things I like. Now, I was saying I don't like Metro that much, but the user interface is actually kind of beautiful in some ways. It looks very good. And there is, of course, a store which is more like an app market on a phone. I don't know what the point of this is because, you know, if I want a program, I'm going to go out and buy it and there's a freaking plane flying. But seeing as this is basically an app market similar to what you would have on a phone, it's, it's not too bad. Like it's, I notice the prices on everything are kind of stupid. Like you gotta pay pretty much everything has a price on it. There is some good free stuff, but the like the free apps are just stupid. Uh, there are a lot of them are like there's an app for YouTube, like and an app for like all this stuff that just runs in your browser. And it's not even nearly as good as just going to the website, right? There's some other things in here for. Um, Oh, this Xbox Smart Glass, that seems really cool. It's actually like uh, you can use your computer to control your Xbox 360 as a media center very easily. And uh, that's actually the top free app for Windows 8. If you want to do stuff, um, basically you just take your mouse cursor and put it on places on the screen. I put it up on the top left and bam, back to my Windows 7 looking desktop. I put it on the right of the screen and uh, come on. I get this menu where I have my search, I can share stuff, I can go to the start menu and devices and settings. So that's basically like more of a control panel, just more stuff. Also just like stuff like that looks better. Like this, you know, there's this little menu that pops up and shows the date. This just looks better in general. Like everything just basically looks better. It's more fluid. It's It's got everything you'd expect in a newer operating system. I actually tried video editing with this. Um, in actual Windows Live Movie Maker too, and it wasn't too bad. Okay, so it did work. And then I tried Corel Video Studio, and that worked too. Uh, what else do I have here? I have Magic uh, Magic Movie Maker, that uh, loaded up fine. I don't know. Stuff works. The transitions between effects on the screen. I haven't turned any effects off, even though this is a slower computer, and it pretty much it, it looks beautiful and it hasn't slowed down. All too bad, so that's good fun stuff. The sound is awesome. All the little, the new sound effects in Windows 8 are just really cool. I don't know how I can make some right now because I usually do it by accident. But I don't know. Come on, make some noise, you bloody thing. I don't know how to make sound. Okay, I fail. Anyways, yeah. So now I've got this figured out, where you can just drag your thing around, and then we're back into the Windows 7. So I just stay here, leave Metro out of the whole picture. Don't even bother using it. Screw it and uh, go to nanite.com, look for the Windows original taskbar, uh, and then you get this, and you don't have to worry about not having this, because if you don't have the start menu, it is a pain in the ass to use Windows 8. It's just, I, I can't even explain it. But after this was installed, I just started loading programs on here, and it's actually very usable, it's very fast. There's not a lot of difference between this and Windows 7 in itself, besides the look of it, but it does seem faster. Okay, so I'm actually playing a game on this laptop, and I don't think this would be possible without Windows 8, just because even though with Metro running and the whole Windows 7 look-like desktop mixture going on, uh, it seems to use less resources, so even 
a game like Guild Wars seems to play fine. Happy with that because I'm not really using this thing for gaming. It's not its main purpose. Its main purpose is just to be a fun little computer that uh, I put together for cheap. So on an older laptop, it definitely does kind of help when, to have Windows 8 because it uses much less resources. I wouldn't go too far back though because then you're going to run into problems with support for your hardware and all that. And the support issue I got into and so far no problems whatsoever with any hardware I've tried on it. Maybe your old stuff is not going to work, but that's that's okay. Who cares? You know, just use this on a spare computer for now. And another cool thing I like about the Metro uh, interface, it's live. Like, you know, you've got your tweets and your all that stuff and your photos and stuff showing up and your, you know, it shows the weather and all that. Like, it's very live. It's like using a phone, basically. So all your info kind of pops up here. There's trending news articles and you can change all this too and add what you want and take what you want. You can actually organize this. This is just basically all my apps, right? And there's a lot of them. Well, not that many, but you can expand it so you can actually show all of them or you can just start searching for them, right? Um, and to search in Windows 8, you basically just start typing anywhere you are in like any screen. As long as you're in Metro, just start typing and you can search. And, uh, well, I don't know, try Coral. Yeah, there. so this Coral video shows up there. And then if I wanted to, I could launch that. Um, that's about it for now. Uh, I'm going to keep this short. And uh, until I find some new fun stuff to play with, I guess I'd buy it. if this was a touch screen, this would be a lot better. But it's not. And uh, it is what it is. So I hope you enjoyed the video and stay tuned. I'm going to dig deeper into the uh, full capabilities of Windows 8 and uh, just what you can do with it and maybe what you can't. There's also some great hotkeys out there too. Uh, a lot of good new things uh, that did not were not in Windows 7. And it looks pretty. That's all I got to say. It looks pretty and it works and it's fast. Okay. Cheers, guys. See you later. Sorry about that, it's actually uh, ninite.com, but what you're looking for is um, Classic Start. Just download this. There you go.